Welcome to our Saturday night fake thrift haul. We actually normally have a real thrift haul, but thrift stores are closed because of the situation. So we actually have gathered together goods, many of which actually came from DI in the first place. And we are going to tell you what we paid for it and what we'll do to it and what we'll sell for either in our shop or on our website, jamieravintagehome.com. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. All right. That's what we're doing tonight, Zeb. Okay, so we've got a bunch of fun announcements and things after the thrift haul, and we're going to be painting and doing some crafting, but we're going to show you the stuff first. We're going to get right into it. No, we have to announce some of the stuff now. No, we'll announce it after the thrift haul. No, that's like 40 minutes from now. Nobody wants to wait that long. All right. And if somebody thinks that was a snarky <laughs> face, that's my tired face. <laughs> um, so to, yesterday marked five years since Seb quit his J job to work 200 hours a week with me yeah. at Jamie Ray Vintage. So today we are going to be giving out five gift cards while we're live for $25. You pick. Wait, while we're live? Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna pick at random. We're gonna pick them random while we're live. Yeah, I'm just gonna be boom on the comment and whoever that is gets it. So it's a $25 gift card. You choose whether it's jamierayvintage.com or Jamie Ray Vintage Home, and we're gonna just do it at random, five different people all throughout the live. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And tonight, we are going to do something really fun with our super chats. So we have JRV stencils and we have lots of retailers, some of which that have hit, been hit really hard financially. So we are donating every single super chat dollar to retailers in need. And I think the last I checked, we had about 10 retailers that um, said that they could use the funds to help their business. So whatever we get, we're going to divide that amongst our retailers. Plus seven are going to add $500 to the pot. Um, to hopefully help out with some of their expenses and mostly just let them know that we love them and we care about them. So we're super excited about that. Now we can get into the thrift. Now we can thrift haul. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Our fake thrift haul. So um, this week's thrift haul was brought to you guys by Facebook Marketplace. Oh, super chat from Sally Von Zwoll. She's on top of it today. Thank, thank you, thank Sally. You. Um, I also found a few things that were dropped off by my friend Sue. We actually only got one box of hers. We're going to do the other one later. And Diane Johnson brought a box, but we'll save that for next week. Oh, super chat. Thanks, Lori Jane. All right, so let's get into it. So these, I actually don't know if these came from Sarah or not. Sometimes but... stuff just randomly shows up and we're like, is that new? Is it old? How long has that been there? <laughs> so these actually sell for painted. I think it's like $6.95 or $8.95. We have some pink ones that Redrick and Eliza painted. Yeah, I think they're all sold out now. Um, but I would normally pay about a dollar or two and sell them between seven to eight dollars on the website. So what they are is they're a fun little shelf and then they've got a place for like a little towel rack and they come with the hanging hardware. All right, super chat from Sarah Morris, super chat from, let's see, hold on, I gotta not miss people. We, oh, we got a new channel member, Shani Sheik, JRV channel member. Make sure you hit up community. We had an extra live video last week. Super chat from Janine Harris. Thank you, thank you. All right, next, these are from our friend Molly, right? These little pants? Yes, so I bought those from Molly. How much she did you pay them, for them? I paid 50 cents a piece because I bought a ton of them, and I will sell them for between a dollar and a dollar fifty up on the website. So I'm super excited. They're vintage jello molds. Oh, super chat from Maria Sotelo. Thanks for being you. And it's Julie's birthday. It's a good weekend. It's also been, did you know this, Seb? Yesterday on our five-year anniversary of when you quit was Chip and Joanna's six-year anniversary from their first show premiere. I know. that You you told me that yesterday, but I, oh. it's still, it's crazy. Anyway, I just thought it was pretty ironic that it was on the same day. So that's pretty cool. Oh, Super Chat, Carla Sheehan. Happy birthday, Julie. All right. Lori so, wants to know how, she's, how much she's going to spend tonight. I, I don't know. I can never call. <laughs> Did you, did you miss anybody? There was a few. They were like flying by. Freckle 70, I missed. If I missed any more, let me know. Fine flipping. Thank you, guys. We appreciate super, super that chat. so much. It's going to be such a great op opportunity for us to share your love with our JRB stem cell retailers. So thank you to everybody that's super chatted. Mandy Driscoll. I guess I can just type these. Janine and S. Morris. Lori Jane. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a full-time job here. Um, let's see. Sally I'll just Von show Cole. the stuff and Jamie will talk. Um, let's see. I just want to make sure I don't forget anybody. Freckles. If I forget anybody, Carla, and I think this is the last one. Fine flipping. Sweet. What you drinking in the water? 
I'm drinking water. Carts and Millie, Tanya, she's one of our retailers. Thank you, thank you. Um, this, this teacup originally came from DI. I was gonna do a tiered stack glass tray with it and we went a different direction. Mm -hmm. When I don't, when I forget my water bottle, I drink water out of it. Oh, Michelle Tal, super chat, thank you, thank you. All right, Odelia's on here. Let's see, I get that. All right. So look at these, these are like little bunk pans. If you got a party or like a little uh, tea party coming up, My you know. My girls always loved playing with them with their dolls. Yeah. So that's fun. All right, I'm going to move on. I've been showing those for a hot Daniel minute. Daniel says the concrete mold was great. Oh, and then Angie says, you. I remember my granny using those molds. And Savage says, by K. Scott, says baked donuts. So awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that ornaments. Would that is a good one, S. Morris. Debbie says, I want a heart mold. I will be putting these up on the website next week. So you guys will know when I know. All right, so we've got this clock, kind of plain Jane, regular old clock. If your name's Jane, I don't mean that offensively because we have a daughter with the middle name Jane. It's a great name. And Deb, Donna, thank you, thank you guys. All right, so we've got this clock. You know I love clocks. I'm gonna, sh I'm probably gonna take the mechanism out of this. I'm gonna swipe it and use it for parts for something else because I don't have a clock mechanism for this. I'm gonna hand the camera over Thank you, and Haley show James you. Thank you, James from California. She's one of our retailers. Jamie, do you remember who brought this clock? Um, So that came from Sarah, I believe, too. And I bought, initially I bought that clock for $75. Well, I'm talking, if I miss any super chats, I'll try to come back to it, but I bought this clock because she had it listed. And she, actually Clay, Molly's husband, painted it. That's why the paint job's so neat. And I said, well, if you have anything else, I know I saw you had a lot of listings and you can't get rid of it. Just sell me a box deal on anything people don't buy. And she's like, sweet, I'll go gather together some stuff that I need to get rid of. And then she's just like, you want this whole box of stuff, 30 bucks? And I was like, absolutely. We need more in Zeb's closet. I know we need it more. <gasps> Tad Gray, $250 super chat. That, that's like, that, that's never happened in, in like in the history of... Jimmy Ray Vintage. Thank you, Tad. That is awesome. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you. A super chat from Melissa Lannon. Wow. Sorry. That's crazy. If I start crying tonight, uh, it's been a little bit of an emotional day. A, I've been up since 5 a.m. And B, right before we came here, Zeb and I got the very first wall of the Farmhouse Edition up. It's, it's a big deal. <laughs> I, we almost went home because I was exhausted because I'd been putting the subfloor on all day and Jamie's like, you promised you'd get me a wall up today. I'm like, yes, I did. Let's do it. <laughs> we were supposed to go have a steak dinner. I'm like, let's just put a wall up instead. Super chat from Kimberly right. McCoy. Thank you. Thank you. So normally I'd probably dress this clock up, do some IOD transfers or something like that on the back of it and replace the numbers with a fun font. But I'm going to steal the mechanism. It's battery powered. It's and we're so gonna, cute. We're going to put it in this clock. Because I don't oh, have a okay. spare one. Okay. And this is kind of, uh, you know, this would take a lot of work to make really cool. Jen, that, that clock is Jen. already awesome. The clock still has the big tall one that I just showed you, the white one. It still has the original sticker on it from the store it was purchased on. It was originally $400. And it'll probably sell once we make it cute in our shop for somewhere between the three and $400 range. But we're going to, we're going to Jamie and Zeb it up. All right. We got lots of metal items today. This is a fun little dish, rusted dish. Oh, thank you, Mama Bear Blue. I, Mama Bear Blue did one of those um, chairs like we did with the plants in it. Oh, fun. That was really cute. Yeah, those chairs are great. Mother's Day is coming up, guys. It's coming up, so get prepared. There won't be little little kids bringing home all the, the handcrafted art I read, Mother's uh, Day gifts. I read a post and I said, uh, so Zeb, this post says it's 15 days to Mother's Day and nobody's making stuff at school, so you got to prepare now. <laughs> We're going to have to have an arts and crafts. Is my shop and open? Yes, we open it back up this week and we've got a bunch of rules in place, but we only have about three or four people that come in a day. It hasn't been super busy, but you know, it's uh, we're here anyway shipping, so it's been fun to reconnect with some customers that we haven't got a lot of regulars that come in and just yeah. just, just everybody's been super respectful of all of our rules so that's been awesome so this was thrifted for a dollar fifty something like this i don't think will change it's already good and rusty um probably how much about seven dollars six ninety five yeah i would say so okay and then the star dish 
Um, this was originally $13. Thank you, Rebecca. I think that's probably close. Probably we'd probably do like $9.95 on it, maybe a little less. My Caitlin, payment. are you keep are you keeping tally there? No, um, so Noel, we cannot go thrifting, but junk seems to find me. What I do, just so you guys know, I'm gonna take a second here and let's talk about some safety when it comes to junking during a pandemic. Generally what happens is I will buy things online and because we have a store right on Main Street, it's very centrally located. If you come by my store and you see a lot of junk on the back porch, that's because I have to ask people to just leave it on the porch and I'll Venmo them and I let it sit there for a good three or four days and then I spray it with Lysol, let that sit and then I clean it and then I bring it all inside. And that way I can make sure that things I'm getting are clean and nobody's getting sick. So be super, super careful. Caitlin says she's watching on her TV and her personal phone. Oh, super chat from my sister Renee, Shani Chic. I it's a busy night. You guys are doing Rebecca. awesome. Thank we you, appreciate it so, so much. Oh, and Ann James. Thank you, Ann. Oh, nice. Thank you. Angie said she had her husband dig out an old chair. Marketplace works great. It does. And one of my tips is if you, you can actually scroll down and you can see if they're listing a lot of things and you ask for the bundle deal. Like, if I give you money right now, would you be A, willing to do no contact delivery or pickup and B, what's the bundle deal? And if people say they don't want to, I never like argue or whatever. I just offer it and then sometimes How, how much they'll... more things do you have in your house? What kind of other junk do you have? Are you, what are you trying to sell? <laughs> because I could buy what you got to sell. So this Super is Super chat from Jane and Happily Ever Crafter. All right, so There's this... a couple you missed. Oh, I'm did on you, top of it. Did you get them? Okay. Yeah. No, so I'm this good. is a fun little, we like everything with birds and especially things that and are like these and teal. Cottage. My Star Trekky. All right. Oh yeah, Star Trek. We so this I would night. probably pay five dollars and it's gonna sell for about twenty five dollars, and you put mugs on it, right? Mugs. I would say it would be cool if you hung it on the wall. It's got a place where you can hang it. I would even say it would be really neat with like some aprons and some dish towels. Oh, and that stuff would be cute with it. dish towels. Yeah. No, I like that. And of course, I gotta buy anything with a bird. So. Or you could use it as like a utensil holder. You know, you get the leather strap that you can hang your wood utensils. This was on. part of my thirty dollar box, so that was a good deal. But so I don't. So this was a part of the thirty dollar box. You said five dollars and twenty. It's about twenty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah, mug holders are actually really expensive, even to buy wholesale. Super chat from Lynn and Nicole. Um, ball caps is good. Mar Marga says she loves um, bird stuff, and Ambers and Unique says for necklaces. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be great. For, for sure, necklaces. my necklace. I only ever have like a few at a time, so I usually have one that I wear, and then I just never take it off till it breaks, and then the rest of them get jungled up in the in the drawer and I only have like four total so all right those are cute these were a dollar each they're candle we didn't buy them like this is part of that bundle deal or it came from sue I can't remember I had all the boxes under here they're candlestick wall sconces and they do have the, the keyholes in the back uh, they were a dollar a piece which is great for anything wood of this size they'll probably get a fun paint job and you know we'll leave them so that they can be hung on the wall because they go great next to like a fireplace yeah. or something. Well, and I would say between ten and twelve ninety five, depending on how they're finished. They need and a I'll little glue. Each, and then I'll probably sell them as a pair. So probably between twenty to twenty two dollars for the pair. I've been doing a lot of pairs because I sell online, and it's I would rather list two things than one. All right, so we've got another super chat from Patty and Nicole. And Lynn, and I think I'm almost caught up, and Laura, <laughs> <laughs> and Jane. All right. You guys are blowing my mind. Thank Rosie you. Rosie says, love pairs. All right, so. Paint those tonight. They want me to paint these tonight. Paint these tonight. All right. Let's see if I can paint. Oh, Cheryl Atkinson, Super Chat. Let's see if I can call out Super Chat's paint stuff. And it's probably time. We need to give away some money. Let's do some stuff. Let's give right, away a gift card. How much was the total amount? Twenty-five dollars And you guys can see it's totally random. And, if you, if, all right, whose name is this? Elaine Morris. Elaine Morris. You are the first winner of a $25 gift card. Caitlin will drop the email, Elaine. Go ahead and email, um, what's the email? <laughs> what is it? Customer oh, care. Customer care <laughs> at com. Sorry, I've been up for about 16 hours. Um, email customer care at jamierayvintage.com, Elaine. And then you can pick if you want jamierayvintage.com or jamierayvintagehome.com and we will get you that gift card. Keep watching because we got four more people that are going to win tonight while we're live. We're picking from the live chat. So share this out right now. Tell your friends. Be like, hey, they're giving stuff away. We're giving stuff away and we're collecting money for a good cause. It's a good night. 
All right, so we've got these glass jars. Love, love these glass jars, especially when you can get the clasp on them with the seal. And these are all a fun shape. This one's kind of a little taller and it's got, it's not, uh, it's a little wider on the bottom. We're usually buyers on these for about $1.50. I'll go up to two, three dollars if they're like the cool antique blue color. And we sell them for about seven or eight dollars. Deborah, you don't have to do anything. You just comment. And just comment so you can people. get picked. <laughs> um, oh, super chat from Past Forward Shop, forty nine ninety nine. Love all my fellow. Oh, thank She's you. She's a JRV stencil retailer. She says, "Love you all. Congrats on five years, Jamie and Zeb." It's actually like nine years for me. Yeah. So the business has been in place nine years. Five years ago, I quit my job, and we were worried we weren't going to make it past the first six months. And here we are, five years later, and it's been amazing. We we legit. It was. Okay. We got legit five years ago. That's when we got a tax ID too. So I guess <laughs> yeah. technically, legally, it's our five year anniversary. But I've been doing a side hustle for about four years. Yeah. So. All right. Let me put these jars up and we'll show the next thing. Don't type a random letter over and over. <laughs> I won't pick you. Colleen McCall, super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Love the planner idea. We all need a Zeb. We do. I tried to make a shirt that said that, but Zeb is my designer. I vetoed it. I wouldn't, vetoed I wouldn't it. do the design because you know what? There's a lot of people out there that are crafty and do a lot of good hard work and a lot of furniture repair. I'm not the only one. Lana said, Hanson says, my husband has been gone from Discount Tire for about 40 years. You know what the awesome thing about Discount Tire was? He has great scale skills. He does the um, scheduling for the shop, the new hires, and the payroll, which you all learned how to do there. And when we have really cranky customers, and I, I'm not good at that situation, Zeb is so good. I'm like, you call them, and you take care of them. By the time he's done with them, they just are like, I love you! Because <laughs> he's such a great guy. Problem solver, that's what you do. I look forward to you watching fixed, you during the situation. You Thank fixed you, the problem. Oh, next week we need to pick people from Jamie Ray Vintage Group, remind me, for the free t-shirts. Oh, yes. Because they helped me pick out t-shirt designs. So We have the designs. Week. We need to get the winners for those, the people who comment. That this is actually really cool. This is plaster or terracotta. It's not, cer no, it's not ceramic. It's already um, white. That came from Sue. Someone painted it. Sue painted it probably, maybe. But yeah. look, it's got a lid. And it's been painted very well inside, too. Colleen McCall. Did I already say thank you to her? Josie Ford style vintage and jessica wayman thank you thank you and karen and mariah oh, oh mariah. mariah she's our retailer director she's awesome she's the one who's been helping all of our retailers out and taking good care of them so yeah i'm super excited i think that's going to be one of those pieces we need to do the the patina on yeah it will so it's kind of it, it's got a ton of detail we're going to make that pop we might even do that in this video we'll use some sort of patina or colored wax on this and it'll Stacey go Dean, super chat thank you thank you and it'll it'll really make that come out and make it give it some age and some texture it'll yeah i think we'll probably use the copper patina and the shipwreck how much would you have paid for this i didn't even discuss that how much i pay for that probably up to five dollars because it'll sell for the 20 ish dollar range so that's going to be some good profit margin and not super hard to paint and no. it's really porous so the paint's just going to like soak in there yeah it's got a good paint job on it i might not even repaint it i might just start doing some layered effects with like wax or, and something like that sorry i always well i should say always my phone is dead so it has to charge she lives with her phone hooked to the charger because <laughs> she uses it all day long no this is the first time it's charged all day i just worked there and somebody i said why have you been up so long because my body is transitioning into my summer mode, but my body is also doing quarantine mode, which means Seb and I stay up to like midnight chatting and watching Star Trek, and then I wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't go back to sleep. Five hours of sleep. You can we do are going to start carrying plus size clothes. I, let me ask about that. And just so you know, these t-shirts that I just put up, Zeb can wear an extra large, which in women's would be like a 2X, because it fit, he normally wears a men's XL, and he fit in the XL, so they're unisex sizes. Do you want to give them an update? We've got seven and almost 800 people watching. You want to tell oh them gosh. what all the super okay. chats are if for? If you are just tuning in, all the crazy super chat is going on because we are taking every dollar that comes in tonight and we are adding $500 to it of our own money and then we are dividing up, up equally to retailers that are in need because we have our JRV stencil retailers and small businesses have been hit super hard. So it's like our own little, what's that called? Stimulus, 
but you guys are helping us provide that. We're going to go ahead and divide that up and send it to them by PayPal or check, however, get to get it to them so we can help them out. Also, we're celebrating five years since Zeb quit his job and uh, Jamie Ray Vintage became an honest woman and got a tax ID. <laughs> <laughs> and we're giving out $25. We've already given out one gift card and we're going to have four more given out. And we just got another super chat from Brianna Hayes. Oh, sold a pair of metal tins today that I made to look antique, sending the profit your way. Thank you. Brianna has been doing some amazing stuff and getting awesome deals. And Stacy Dean, thank you for your super chat, Stacy. All, All right. right, more more scripted stuff. We might have to take a break and do things in between. I know. I might have to go back to super chats in a minute. Okay, so these are actually fabric inside, and someone's done the embroidery work on there. I think produced they might not, be they're not like handmade or anything but they're originally 13 they're kind of small i think they'd be better with like a different color on the frame they're a little they're a little drab brighten them up a little bit well i was thinking if we use the um stencil the embroidery stencil the mexican oh. embroidery stencil that we have on the would frame be perfect no in there like get oh, rid of that get and just rid of stencil that. something really cool like a bright like a hot pink or something i don't normally do hot pink but that would be cool. That would be cool. Because that's right. the exact same width. And how much central. would we sell these for? They were originally twelve ninety five. I would say probably twelve ninety five. We probably right. would have bought we've them for a dollar. And they've got good hanging hardware on the back. So we had another super chat. We've had two, I think. Oh, uh, Tammy. Nope, I'm, I'm paying attention. Did Tammy, you get that one? There you go. Use the line to increase your super chat. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. You know what else is awesome? I had somebody on Instagram... Rip me a new one for all the different things that we've been coming out with. Somebody said it was the cash grab, and so I responded back to him. But one of the things that you guys are awesome about is allowing us to run our business and then also share awesomeness with you. And I appreciate that because sometimes it's hard to, like, balance all the things. So I appreciate you guys letting us do that. YouTube, the farmhouse renovation, our shop, online. You fall on you, and we wouldn't be able to do that without you. And in fact, tonight I'm wearing our new shirt, Faith Over Fear, because I feel like that's been a motto. Because we have had a lot of crazy things that we've done, and people say, "How did you know it would work out?" I'm like, we didn't. <laughs> we, we didn't know. We just had a we had an inkling that we should do it. You know, we had a good feeling about some things, and then we we just went to work. <laughs> I also actually had somebody ask if I had a business degree, and I'm like, nope. I have a degree in prayer. <laughs> That's about it. You pray, you get you get inspired, and then you do. So this All is right. a really cool piece. This is a that. little side table. It's the three-legged side table. It's it's got some damage. <laughs> it's um, special. It needs a little care. All it really needs is some wood glue. Wood glue on this because it's. Uh, Carol said, I heard you have a new stencil. We showed it last week. Yeah. That's a stay at home is our newest stencil. Eric Bowden, super chat. Thank you, Thank Eric. Thank you from Eric and Dawn, another husband and wife power team. Well, I think they're married. I never asked. Really asked that. Yeah, I think so. They share Dawn. the same last name. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so someone's already tried to sand this. We'll probably just leave the yellow color, the creamy yellow color that's on there and let that peek through. I actually will... love it the way that it is. Is it not like bad? It? Yeah, it's so chippy. Like maybe know. put some more chippy milk paint over it, like an extra yeah, layer. It needs something else because this is latex. Well, and this was sanded down. So we'll glue it and then we'll do another chippy milk paint color over the top. Like, look, the latex is peeling off. Odelia's on here telling people how to donate. Odelia's <laughs> tough, man. She like... Odelia helped us lift that wall today. We have it on video. Me, Zeb, and Odelia lifted the wall. Eliza would have helped, but she hurt herself oh, she so hurt bad. Herself. She's got a goose egg like this big on her poor little leg. So, oh, how much would we pay for this? I pay up to five dollars, and we'll sell for about twenty-five to thirty dollars in our store. Those types of tables always sell really, really well. So, all right, love salt wash. That might be a good idea. I feel like salt wash is a good idea for many things. Now, this isn't normally in my wheelhouse. But I love that it opens up. I thought it was two bowls, but it's actually a, a, a bowl bottom. with a lid. That's definitely a candidate for salt wash because it needs a little less bling. Here, I'll bring the camera back now that I got rid of that little table. Little tables are always good sellers. Yeah, today we sold our French bistro table. If you guys remember the one that had like the marble top, we paid about $20. We sold that in the shop today for $99.95. We also sold a bench. So we sold two pieces of furniture, not big ones, but Odelia was on the back porch uh, painting another bench that's gonna come into the shop next week. This is fancy. And it's is probably handmade and the wood 
Did a little bit of drying afterwards. Well, if it comes from like India, what's that? Teak? Yeah, teak, teak wood. Teak usually gets a little wonky. But the whole thing, you know what? I might be showing it wrong. I think this is the bottom okay. and this is the top. Well, yeah, that's the fancy the top. top. The top is bigger. We might have to sand it. I'm okay because with a little weevil wobble off. Oh, thank you, Super Chat Mario. And um, did I miss? I think I missed one person there. And oh, nope, I got everybody. Looks like something that would do. Uh, layering technique on tell Jamie it's going to just look good just wait true all right serving tray and this um, one that, oh. I don't know what that would be for and that will probably sell for in the 19 to 20 dollar range because that's gonna be a cool piece yeah it'll be cool once we get it painted oh and... Zeb we haven't bought one of these and like can we save this at home so that way when you make me pancakes on Sunday you can bring it in and I can we don't it we usually find the trays but we don't find them very often with the legs does that have legs on it it has legs on the I bottom I feel like that needs to stay at our house for like Mother's Day and Father's Day because the kids always want to we don't want to go and leave breakfast in bed but the kids always want to bring us breakfast in bed and we don't have a single tray like so, holding food on a pillow yeah well and this one and Mother's Day is coming in 15 days I don't know if I told you that this one is marked at three dollars, and I would probably sell for about twenty-five ish dollars. Zeb always loves to stamp and stencil these. Yeah, these are these are one of my favorite things to stamp and stencil. If anybody, oh, thanks, Jan, for super chat. And if anybody does not know how to super chat, um, thank you, Rhonda. Email Caitlin, and she can get you our Venmo after the video, or if you're watching the replay, we'll probably wait about a week. If you email customercare@jamierayvintage.com, she can give you our Venmo. Um, and then we'll go ahead and incorporate that money too. So we'll wait till next Saturday. And we'll give you a grand total of everything plus our $500. And then we will send that out to our retailers. We won't let you know who they are because that's not how you uh, do charity work. You don't want to you know, tell people about that kind of stuff. But we'll let you know what the grand total was and what you guys helped us do. So thank you. Yes, right. I did just use the bird's beak to break the tray. <laughs> they said you're very resourceful then. <laughs> So this is three dollars, and we if we get these, it sounds like we're keeping this one, but they'd probably be. I said twenty to twenty-five. What did you say that already? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this one has cool legs. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it's really cool. I think that it's a really good candidate for a big fat grain sack stencil. Yeah, right here in the middle. Yeah, you can also do PayPal. So email Caitlin if you're not able to super chat, and we will give you PayPal or Venmo. We'll be able to. We'll make it. We'll make it work. So we will okay. take whatever we can get to help these retailers out. This looks like hammered copper. I don't, mm -hmm. it might be copper. I, I, don't I can't know tell. I real copper. That came from Sue's box. I know that. I would probably pay up to $2 for it. Thank you, Teresa Super Chat. Um, and I would probably sell that for about the $12.95 range. I actually like it the way it is. I don't really see a need to do anything to it. The yep. patina is pretty great, as is. The hammered is good, too. Jen is like putting emojis out there. Hit the like button. Zeb All right. should make some lovely crepes for that tray. Zeb makes bomb crepes. I do. But crepe, yeah, crepes are a Mother's Day situation for sure. Crepes. So, so the kids request crepes on their birthdays, and we always have crepes on Mother's Day. And whoever's birthday it is, birthday. they're not the only ones that get it. Everybody, Everybody gets wins. Crepes. <laughs> Everybody gets crazy. So, hey, Alicia, I love your couch that you just did in your RV. I watched the video. Bomb. Wall Street's hard. I used to do a lot back in the day. So I know. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to do a collab with her and send her something for her RV that only we make. Oh, we should. Like something handmade. You know, we should make an RV-sized cutting board. So, you know, we contact should. us and we'll get that going. Yeah, we should, she knows that. Alicia and I talk all the time. All right. I so this is this is kind of a I'm so tired, but you know who you are. It's Alicia. It's okay. I said it right. Yeah. Okay. I'm I suck at life sometimes. All right. So what is that? It's like a. I would a put like a. It's just, I need more water. I would Do make you need this. Drink, sweetie? Mm, I would make this into like uh, what David does at the plant bar, like a little planted oh, situation like, here. Uh, planted situation. Oh, you know what? That would be so For good. like I've succulents? Been, I've been planting stuff out front. Look, I have like these little aloes, fake aloe succulents. Whoa, what are you this, doing? I'm putting this up here for later. For later. Well, I got up to get a drink and I figured I should do that. So glass like this we usually find for a dollar, dollar fifty. Well, look at that. Even without the dirt and things, how great that is with a little greenery in there. And I just threw these little fake potted plants in there and it already is looking awesome. 
So I think we might have to plant it and see if we can keep some succulents alive. We kept some alive for about six months, and then I think they got forgotten forever. And we found them, and they were not looking so hot. But anyway, something like this planted, depending on what kind of plants we put in there, I'd pay $1.50 for the glass at the thrift store, but if we plant it, it'd probably be like 20, 25, even upwards of 30, depending on how many plants we get in there and, and uh, what kind we do. I know you're parched. I couldn't get enough water in you today. I kept like bringing him, <laughs> I would bring him the drinks while he was working. It was like an actual- How many super chats did I miss? I don't know, you better look and see. All right, so, okay, we're good, we're good. Hold you on. You got Jens? I got Jens. Teresa, thank you. She says it was successful because they worked our butts off. Literally, that was Zeb working all day today. And Kim Honey, MDC, love your giving hearts. Happy five years. Thank you. All right, I'm going to bring the camera back. This is an old vintage uh, high chair. It doesn't have the tray, but it's still amazing. So this was $20, and this is one of those things I told you. I said, hey, I'll pay your asking price. Would you mind if dropping it off at the shop? And she's like, I actually live in Lehigh, so it's no big deal. So I just Venmoed her, and she dropped it off. Now, I take a risk at not knowing condition 100%, but I'm willing to risk $20 because I don't have time to drive all over the place. And I just tell them, you can drop it off whenever. Because we have a camera on our back porch. Nobody messes with the junk. <laughs> so they just leave it on my back porch, and then I'm ready to go. It needs a good little scrubbing, but I think we can clean that up and... It, it had a little footrest here. I might try to make a footrest yeah. because it's cool enough. It's worth my time to put a footrest on this here. This will sell for about $80 if we get a footrest on there. Sometimes I sell them anywhere from 70 to 90. That's kind of the price range. So 80 is a good middle point. And that. to fix this, all I'll do is I'll drill these out where the old footrest yes, was. Yes, high chair. Put some new dowels in and then just like a little board here, probably half inch pine and round the front so that it matches kind of and the rest of the look. we'll actually take out all of these um, in the bottom here and we will re-glue. That's where they're always the wobbliest. Oh. So we take these out and re-glue -re them and sometimes we'll run a screw in there. We'll drill it and screw it and that helps sturdy it up. And these are actually great for toddler chairs. So when they outgrow their high chair, but they need to be pushed up against your um, farm table or whatever, these are perfect. We had one forever, in fact, we may keep this because someday I'm going to have a toddler in the house again. Well, and I... And that's not an announcement. I build my... It's an announcement that someday I'm going to be a gardener. I build my farm tables a little tall, so like a higher... Like a, this, is, this is a small high chair. It probably would like run right up against the... Salvage by K. Scott says I love old high chairs. Here's a little tip about old high chairs. Like that one, we're going to have to add a piece to it. So if you paint them, paint them chippy pink. They sell like hotcakes. I don't this, know what it is. Is this a match holder? What is that? Um, it's for a wall, I think, like wall decor. But does it hold like long matches for a fireplace? I can't. It could can hold tell. like greenery. Like I'm gonna bring some color. more stuff so we can There's show it to you. There's a five dollar firm. This was this was in the thirty dollar box too. I probably pay at least a dollar for this. This will sell for about twelve dollars. The greenery we always sell greenery like this for five bucks when we thrift it. Um, and this is perfect, Isla, for like decorating. That's like the perfect little decorating situation. Cheryl shop, is it shop? I think so. Super chat. All right. It is, did I miss Kim Honey and Cheryl Schwab? I don't think I missed anybody else. So I'm not seeing them on the top. Okay. So it's probably time. How many people have we done? Two? Um, we've only done one. We only did, oh, we better get to picking another person. Caitlin. If, if we've done two, let me know, but Zeb says one. I think it's only one. All right, no, if we end chat. up doing six, it'll be okay. Yeah, it's okay. Nobody's counting. I, I'm sure a million people are pe trying to comment. Okay, this person right here. Sherry Robinette. Love it. Sherry Robinette, go ahead and email Caitlin um, which gift card you want. $25 to JamieRayVintage.com or JamieRayVintageHome.com. All right, both, so that both was are, two both are fun places. More. Like it's a toss up right now. Like which one do you want? We got to start three for? more, and uh, it's totally random. So you just never know when I'm going to start doing this and pick people. We'll pick another one okay. soon because you know. I don't know why I'm still holding this. I'm like da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this down now. So this, this is a this is a cool tin lantern. It has glass on three sides. It was free. It it's wasn't even a thirty dollar box. She gave it to me extra. It's missing the glass on the back, but I think I can easily, I'm going to keep my eye out for like a window or something. Oh, chicken wire. For Jamie hardware says. cloth. 
be hardware so cloth. Huge. I built a hardware cloth on the back. Because it's a little bit more rigid. Now, will that be hard because there's nowhere to staple it to? It has a nail in the middle. I'm assuming it was... Or a candle. You intended to hold a candle in the front here. Yeah, well... It, probably bigger than that. But probably like a big candle. And it is, it is vented at the top, so well, you know, you could even too. you could even hang this on the porch and put like a big, like, uh, those, uh, new, not Nutella, that's like, that's I almost that's wonder, spreading. could you just leave this open and like take off all the glass completely and just put like a cool plant Citronella, in I think, is the, what I'm looking for. Like a like, citronella candle that gets rid of the bugs while on your porch. But instead of, instead of leaving it like a lantern that you put a candle in, we should take and put something cool in here and just make it like architectural. Okay. Now this is this you can't tarnish, right? Because it's it's galvanized, but we probably could can hit we it. Can toilet bowl cleaner on it, like so, sand it. So we would just hit it with like some 220, scuff it up, and get rid of some of that finish on the top, um, and then we could probably yeah. Get so it my vote age. is take out all the glass completely, and then let's sand it and do toilet bowl cleaner. Thank you, Wendy, for the super chat. And then um, maybe some salt wash and chippy milk paint. Make it look really old because okay. that's what we do. We make new stuff look old again. So it was free. <laughs> we probably would have paid up to five dollars for it at It'll the thrift store. About twenty-five. About twenty-five. Lots of it's lots big. of. Lot, this, tonight's the under thirty night for most of these items. Under thirty, except for the clock. That's the three to four hundred dollar clock over there. Yeah. I can't get DIY paint in Canada, but I'd love to try the IOD molds. Since we're giving it away. Um, if you live in Canada, we can't sell DIY paint to Canada, but if you want to use your gift card to buy, probably it would only buy about a sample with shipping. We can, we can do that. Yeah, we're allowed to so give away stuff. We can give away stuff anywhere. We just can't put it on sell. sell online. We just can't sell DIY paint. We can sell everything else to Canada, just not that. All right, pick All another right. winner real oh, quick right now. On. Super chat. Jasmine, congratulations. Thank you. All right. Jamie's, Jamie's All picking. right, it is right here. Crescent Moon Cottage. Donna! Holla! Are you closing right. your eyes when you do that? Yeah, my, my eyes were closed. Oh, everybody started commenting, but you did it too quick. Well, I also go up and down. So even after we announce it, that doesn't mean anything. Right, I, I need your... Even if my eyes were open, I couldn't see that. I need your greenery over there so I can show them what I had my do. Wheaties today. What did I actually eat today? Actually, this is called Jamie's Too Tired to, uh, to really be focusing on anything, and she just... It just oh, all comes out. Oh, I had out. a turkey and cheese sandwich. She gets a lot of taco. like extra bonus talkative energy. <laughs> I had a turkey and cheese sandwich and a taco and a half a protein shake and two pieces of pizza. And a breadstick. So no Wheaties. All right, Ferns. Now coming at you. Coming at the next one. This is like a yucky brown, but it'll look great painted. It won't be when we're done. It's like a, it's like a maroonish plum brown. Oh, super chat from Jet Girl. Thank you. And Sandy. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay. Um, Tom so... says we recently replaced a painted lantern glass with chicken wire sold immediately. So maybe we do need there the chicken wire. There you go. Wire. Chicken wire. That was my first idea. So maybe it's a good one. Okay. So this would would have been like a dollar, maybe dollar fifty. Situation Saturday, yeah, for sure. If never. we sell it with greenery, we include the greenery in the price and usually bump that up a little bit. If not, if we just sell it like this, they're usually about seven bucks. Yeah. In the shop, I normally will price the greenery separate. And in a picture, most of the time I'll just say not for the website. So those were a dollar fifty or each from DI originally before the situation happened. They were in my grab box and I would sell them for about ten to twelve dollars each. If I put them on the website, they'll probably be nineteen to twenty two dollars for the pair. They're a matched set. Of, are they pewter? I think they're pewter, yeah. Matched set of pewter. Huge so crowd they're, tonight. Woo -woo. they're nice. All right, I'm going to start painting these. You're going to paint those? Ever crafter says, oh, super chat from Zelly, Shelly Dean. Can I give you this, though? Because I'm starting to go a little cross-eyed. Well, and you're also, like, not focusing. Like, you started reading someone's comment, and then you saw the super chat. Squirrel. So she was going to read happily ever crafter. Jamie, you cracked me up. I didn't finish that? And you couldn't that? even finish that. I thought But thank I you, did. Shelly, for the super chat. I thought I did. In you my didn't. mind, I finished it. You just whirled right on past that. Well, you know, whirling Mama Bear Blue says she needs her thrift store fixed because, man, yeah, we, 
you know, it's fun to get these things on the back porch, but it's also half the fun to go find them and go hunt through the thrift store for the good stuff. I don't know. I'm getting kind of lazy. I'm like, no, I love the it. little porch fairies come and leave me junk. So these were $1.50. Did you say how much? I missed it if you did, because you yeah. just were like, mm -hmm. you're, I, did. You're, I, I gave a whole explanation. You're like puking words tonight. No, I said $9, $12. And then I, I very calmly said that on the website, I probably saw them as a pair anywhere from $19.95 to $22. All right. So there you go. All right. Oh, okay, so these... Jamie's getting yeah, glue. I have glue. Oh, well, it's easier to paint them not on there. So I'm going to paint this and I'll put it back. I'll glue them later. Don't worry about glue them right now. You want to glue them right now? Nope. I'll wait. Okay. This is fine, I think. Yep. Firm okay. Light. I'm going to show you guys this one up close. It's a pillow sham. What Home. does it say on there? Sweet home. Is it fall? It's kind of more fall colors, yeah, for so sure. So we'll put that in the dead body closet. If you guys are new to our channel and you don't know what that is, we don't actually have dead bodies in there. But it's so big, you could It's where stuff them. goes to die that's seasonal that we won't try to sell all If I go around. missing, look for me in there. Anyways, that's where I put my seasonal stuff. So we'll put that in there until fall. We also call it that because it's where stuff goes to die, and sometimes we forget it's there. Like seasonal, the seasons change, and we open the closet, and we're like, oh, that's where that went. Because it's over the basement stairs, so it's really, really deep. All right, these are high gloss. We've got a uh, bathroom soap dish and soap dispenser, looks like. That's a first for me. Like, um, that's the nice thing about this random junk that comes to the back porch from the junk fairies, otherwise known as my friends. Yeah. You get stuff that you wouldn't normally buy. So do you think we should salt wash that? Jenna Valentin, yes, it is lively here tonight. <laughs> Jen Doom us. says we should say pu make puking words via t-shirt. We can't make all the shirts, guys. <laughs> no, we can't actually. We can. We may eventually have made all the. Um, and then I mean, really nice. Jasmine <laughs> Smith says, "Question: What paintbrush would you recommend for larger pieces, side tables, chairs? If I can only get one number brush 12. right now, the number twelve brush. That's number our go-to brush. By Paint Pixie or by DIY Paint Brushes. We carry both on the website. One synthetic, one is natural." And those are your good go-to for big pieces. Now, yep. if you can buy three paint brushes, then I would get uh, either the well-rounded and the French round, either one, the VIP, which is currently sold out, and which is a good for base coat, and then the number 12. So there you have it. Do we get more super chats? My get... no, no more super chats right, right. now. Do we, um, we need to announce another winner. You we need to announce one? another winner. Yeah, I'll pick one. But I wanted to talk about these real quick. These are not the right color. They're not. What? If you love this color. Zeb, sorry. That, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, well, he's so, mostly just sorry that you love it. I'm no, no. <laughs> that actually looks like a fourth of your wardrobe. No, this is like army green. I don't have anything in that. I wish. I do yeah. love it. I want a whole truck that color, but you oh know. Oh my goodness. There's a Tonkin looking truck that drives around town and Zeb keeps telling me. I want that truck. So we're going to paint them. We do occasionally paint ceramic. It usually ends up being a heavily distressed, aged look because, you know, it's hard to keep stuff on here. I might try, because it's so glossy, hitting this ceramic. with just some 220, just scuff it just a little bit, knock that shine right off of there, and then the paint will stick really well, and we'll seal it with, like, big top because that's going to be fairly durable. They won't be completely waterproof, and they'll get more age and wear as they get used, but it'll just be fun. I think these are made to come off. All right. Um, painted up. These will probably be in, like, the $12 range for the set. Make sure you're we not won't, We won't spend a ton of time on it. Um, no new Super Chats, but I'm going to pick someone right now. I'm scrolling here. Watch. This is what happens He's when we scroll. using the magic finger. See? Can you see all the names whizzing by? Can you see them? <laughs> Let oh, me show you in case you can't see That's me. notifications. Let's scroll. Let's, I mean, look at that. You guys are just blowing the chat up. All right, I'm going to pick one right now. Joanne Boylan. So, Joanne, email customercare at jamierayvintage.com and Kate, Caitlin will get you set up with a $25 gift card. All right. So, is that three? That's three. Yeah, and you can have your gift card to jamierayvintage.com or jamierayvintagehome. To all the people that were complaining that I started a new website, look who's laughing now. Now you get two websites to get used for your gift card. Yeah, you could give gift card for either or. It's going to be hard to pick though because you can get so a gift. You can use it for things to create with or things that are already created. <laughs> Ooh, 
froze my water. All right, so this is farm fresh. Did you get, did you notice that I brought you a drink? Someone asked what, yeah, I saw it. There's no time right now. I mean, look at the chat. It's like whoosh, just flying by. I can't, I can't read it as fast as it's going. Well, um, I can. All right, so no, you can't. Not so I try. It's my problem. All right, so we've got a couple of green jars, you know. They've got their corks in them still. I think these would be fun to try something like decoupage, like try to put like oh, a cool no. vintage label on them. They're the way they are and take the corks out. Take the corks out and leave them like this, maybe flowers at the top. Yeah, I mean, in my shop, those would probably sell for about five or six bucks each. They've got the thick glass bottoms. We like thick glass bottoms. We have a shirt that says that. We, have, you know, we, we like it so much, we put it on a shirt. All right, I'm leaving the corks in, it feels right. Okay. Whoever gets it can decide what they do with it. I showed these, but I didn't talk about them. They're just little Ikea fake plants. Ikea has do you know what those fit in? really great fake plants. Sugar molds. So if sugar you guys molds. buy one of the sugar molds at Jamie Ray Vintage Home, the Ikea succulents fit perfectly in Jamie them. loads them up like... Or you can put real ones. The 12-hole sugar molds. You'll put 12 of those in there. They look great. The, the farmhouse bathroom actually has a sugar oh, mold yeah. in there. It has those Don't in there right Don't you see it right every now. time you pee? Well, it's way up high in the top of that, really shit, that cupboard that I built in there. It has a built-in cupboard in the back of it. If you watch the farmhouse video, and we use two old antique windows to make the cupboard doors and shelving so you can see all the towels neatly folded. They're not neat right now because they ain't nothing neat Because Harrington no. spilled a bunch of water and he used one of <gasps> Jamie's nice towels to clean They're it brand up. new! <laughs> dang, dang it, Harrington, you're lucky you're cute. Turn my phone the other way so it goes slower. I could, but it's still go. It's still flying by. You can, yeah, I actually, I got to put that back on a charger here in a second. Yeah. I'm going to have to take it back from you. I'm gonna hate going all right, so if you're wondering why all the Super Chats, we are donating all Super Chats from tonight to uh, Jamie Ray Vintage retailers in need, small businesses that have been hit hard, our stencil retailers, we're donating that and we're pitching in 500 of our own dollars in part of uh, helping out, but also in celebration of five years ago I quit my job and came and worked with Jamie full time and it's been amazing. It's been a fun ride. And we want to give a little back. All right. We had a lot of stuff tonight. Like, I'm still going through this, and we've been live for 47 minutes. It's a good thing Jamie's painting something. We're not going to get to the painting. So many comments to read. You guys are amazing. It's been fun celebrating a little bit with you. Because, right. you know, it doesn't work without you guys. It, we appreciate your support so, so much. I'm going to use just the bottom of this. It's what do you need a Band-Aid for? Cut myself. I told you that before I left. I didn't hear that. I was talking. Sorry. All right, All right more hanging. I'm, I'm assuming this is like for towels or something. Or in the shower. Bottles. Oh, wine bottles. There you go. <laughs> I don't drink wine, can you tell? Or rolling <laughs> pins. Have some over there. Oh, like, thank them. you to Net Major. Go grab chat. Them. There's three rolling pins over there that Odilia was working on today. Okay. I told her to pick any color oh, and two of them are kissing booth. That would be cool. With That's what I just pins. said like two minutes ago. I'm like, rolling pins. <laughs> That's finally. No, right. I said I was agreeing with you. Yeah, we're good. All right. So this one is right. one from Sue from a while back. We, yes, we got to painting it. She hand turned this one. She Hopefully she doesn't mind that Odilia painted it. Odilia just grabbed it, she painted it, but I, I like it, I don't mind. I think it looks good. Look at that. Boom, baby. We'll paint that up cute. And then we'll we'll pick three fun rolling pins, three different colors. We'll paint this fun, and then we'll sell it as a set for probably somewhere around $40, because these usually sell for $10.95 each, so. Yeah. That's cool. Some people like it for wine. We're going to use it for rolling pins. If people take it and use it for wine when they get it, I don't care. <laughs> All right, Jamie. What? Let's do another giveaway. Okay, but I'm heat gunning, so you're going to have to pick. Oh, okay. I'm going to second coat these. And then we'll talk about the shelf. I'm going to talk about these little bottles first, because okay. I really like them. Little amber bottle, little oh, old medicine from bottle Sue. from Sue. And then this one is the Bear Company Division, but it's old very old. Yeah, it's an old medicine bottle. Those sell for about three ninety five. I have a whole little table of them in the shop and people will come in and pick through them. They're kind of fun. So what we like to do with them, Jamie will just take like one stem of eucalyptus and put it down in there on the center on a center piece for the table with a bunch of them and it looks awesome. Maybe I should list them on the website. 
just it, they don't get to pick because that would be too crazy. But just like all right, guys, I'm scrolling again. I'm scrolling. Scrolling. Okay, I'm commenting. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna. All right, finger is on there. So Andrea Joseph, Andrea Joseph, you are the next winner. Winner number four. Twenty-five dollar gift card to jamierayvintage.com or jamierayvintagehome.com. Email Caitlin at customercare at jamierayvintage.com, and uh, she'll get you hooked up. Woo! Woo! Got it out. Now I know why you were talking so much. What? Are you vomiting words over there? I'm, I'm puking words. It's okay. So the, I'm a, were these all from Sue too? Yeah. Sue's got her card in there. Sue puts her card in here. So we know she comes. I wasn't here. I missed her the last few times she's been here. Oh, and Sue, because we didn't buy this box from you, you get 20% off your next visit to the shop. I'll put your name on a list along with Diane Johnson. I announced last week that anybody that brought stuff got 20% off. So the next time you come in, let them know that we gave you that and it'll be good for one use in the shop for 20% off. In the Stock shop up. only because I want to see your face. Or curbside pickup. But we all know Sue's coming inside. Candace Chris Chrislip. Sorry if I messed your name up. Thank you for the super chat. Congrats on the five years, Zeb. Thank you. Really, right, so this to is, me because I get to be with you. Man, look day. at that bottle. Look at the texture on it. It's it's Good. not it's like hobnail, but not. It's crazy. It, it's I love green it's glass. It's the right color too. The green glass is good. Yeah, I sell the green glass all the time for about nine dollars a bottle. It's really popular. This has writing on it. It's in Spanish. I, I'm not going to attempt it. Bring it here. I speak Spanish. Jamie can do it. But I wanted to show you up close. The second two coats is good. The first coat was a little streaky because these were kind of shiny. Man, glass done right is just so cool. Oh, another super chat. Can you read it while you're up there? Yep. Uh, it already went by, so I have to That's come okay, back. That's okay, you can click it. Okay, let's see. What does it say? Oh. Uh, I, I, Alicante Ricardo Menor Anisavos. I don't know what Anisalos is. Sounds like Vienna. someone's name. Yeah, so are you Gante? I don't know what that means. I can pronounce it. Wendy so Powell, didn't know how this worked even though Caitlin was patiently trying to help. So my first donation was only $1.99. Got it now, and now it's $9.99. This is very generous thing for you guys to oh, do. Well, very thank you, Wendy. All of you. It's generous for you to pitch in and help us help people out. What you guys are offering is way more than we could offer on our own. And I just thought, you know what? It kind of happened. I was reading. I'll give you a little background on it. Bear with me for story time. I try to not spend too much time on social media right now unless I'm responding to people because it's a little bit difficult. But I have so many friends that are self-employed that have been sharing their struggles. And I was like, what can I do? I just, I'm not a millionaire. I don't know what I can do. And all of a sudden, I just felt inspired. You know what? You may not have a million dollars, but you have $500 and you also have some of the best, actually you have the best followers in YouTube. And I bet if you say that you're gonna donate all your money that they'll help you offer more than what you've got. And I feel like that's kind of what, and excuse if, if you're not religious, you can just close your ears, but that's what Heavenly Father and the Savior do for us. They take all that we have and they add to it and they make it enough. So between us and you guys, that's going to be enough to help these retailers know how much they're cared for and how important they are to us. So I just a little, little idea. I had no idea that people were going to show up in this way. This has been incredible. So thank you. All so right. we have a couple more super chats. MD uh, says, have fun and be well. And Tammy Pineda says, here's to all your great retailers. Pineda, I think. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I mispronounce everything. So okay. It's good if you do it every now and then. This so it's jar, not just me. This jar is special. It's special? It's from Italy. Oh. It says hermetic right here on the top. And oh, it yeah. says made in Italy on the lid and also made in Italy on the bottom here. So I've had hermetic jars before. I actually just did a trio of jars a lot of times because I said I like to like take and put two and three similar things together. We had a hermetic jar in my last trio that I sold at Jamie Ray Vintage Home. We take a lot of the unique items and sell them there. It's been really fun. And I grabbed this one, but I don't think I showed it close. It's got fruit all oh, on I the sides. Oh, I love that. And I love that, like, royal blue. It's like blue iris. 
Idea. So a lot of these we sell, we, we pick them up for about $1.50 to $2, depending on the size. We sell them for six to nine. Yeah, this bigger one that's from Italy might go for like 12 or 13, yeah, that's a little cool. bit more. I need to see if we have something similar. I don't think we have any glass that's that style. Are you, are you looking for us? Another super chat from Rainbow505. Thank you so much. Zeb, did you know you can just click it on the top? Yeah, I see it. Oh, I was okay. just reading the comments too. Oh, okay. If you click it, you can see the comment too. And from Jana Valentin, love me some JRV. Jana, didn't you do a super chat earlier? I you want to do too. <laughs> hey, nobody. All right. So we only got to painting one thing tonight before time's almost up. I still have a couple more things to show you. These, I'm assuming, are for candles. Oh, did we or... show them the, the tote? Or maybe not yet. That's okay. It's a five-year anniversary live. We can stay longer than an we hour. We can stay longer. As long as the trolls stay away. So, <laughs> yeah, that's always a thing. So these are different lengths. If you know exactly, they look like they're for candles, but they don't have the little uh, Oh, pin. those came from Diane. So, Diane, what are these for? I think... They're for candles. I, I want to say candles, but I also think that they could hold like some... A ball? Yeah, like a cool ball or a plant or something you on there. You know what I would do with them? Because these are a little bit 90s. Cut this off and use them for wreath hangers on a door. Could you, oh. could you could you make this just a little bit bigger so it could go over a door? Uh, I love how like big that. Oops, it's going far. In brush. general, I can do most of the things as far as like changing the you furniture you, you want, but <laughs> you're not maybe strong enough to fix that. No, that's don't challenge me like that. You challenge know I accepted. Can do well, it. if Zeb can make this bigger <laughs> for a door, I would love this for a wreath holder because I love how big. This part is right there. Especially for a tall door, you need longer wreath holders. The ones that they carry just aren't big enough. Why don't you do it? You lifted that wall today. You're strong. You know what my superpower is, Sib? I married you. <laughs> <laughs> you are my superpower. We all have our things we're good at. I was good at picking a mate, and I don't need to ever be good at anything else again because I won. Because <laughs> you're that awesome. All right, you want to no, show them that's this? Not true. Yeah, I'm getting you are that cool. Did you show them that tote? Yes, I asked you, but I don't I haven't. Okay. That's the last thing, this and the tote. Okay, I remember that I asked you, I just don't remember listening. All right, so fun tin shelf. This is a little bigger than most of them come. Some of, most of them are a little bit smaller. Originally $24.95 after we paint it and make the colors match a little better. It probably still And not be cheetah distressing. Those would be It'll probably be right around $24.99. <laughs> we usually paint those apothecary or um, farm fresh and give them a good white wax and they are really really popular if you're into fleur de lis this is your shelf They're look at all fresh. of those all right all right i'm gonna move these hold on this is the this is the trick you take the paintbrush and you move the item see all right i was gonna paint that shelf oh you're gonna paint it right yeah, now i got my i got my brush out okay and I have a tote over here. Oh, you know what? I want to do the tote. Can you want to? You want to paint the tote? Yeah. All right. You paint that. Pair of totes from the early '90s, late '80s. Probably it's, hand painted of some sort. It's fairly awesome. Fairly awesome. I'm funny. <laughs> it actually originally came from the DI. There's not only do we shop at the thrift store DI, but so do our friends. But the tote and the design on it, the shape is awesome. So mm -hmm. Jamie's gonna paint it right. Right meow. now. Right now. And it was two dollars and I'll sell it for like five. I'm eating chocolate. Did you just pop in a chocolate? I need some sugar. Um between twelve, probably like twelve ninety five. Yeah. So okay. Okay, so the cute little totes getting painted. There was something I was gonna do and I can't remember. Were you gonna paint that gonna, shelf? I was gonna paint something. No, not the shelf. What were you gonna paint though? Were you gonna actually do some work tonight? I was gonna try. I was thinking about some work. Oh my gosh, this man, the two of us. Today I like redid the out front and planted a bunch of flowers and put out new inventory. And I put a big potato scale with two, I'll have to, sh maybe Monday we'll do a shot video and I'll show you some of the new things I've done since we reopened. But we did a potato scale and then I did the two of those antique watering cans that we have at Jamie Ray Vintage Home. And then a crock with flowers in the front. It was so cute. So I was going to do this. Oh, that's right. Oh, we had a super chat. A super chat from Corey Golden. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> He's pointing at you, Corey. That finger's for you. <laughs> um, 
I gotta get. I'm gonna just get some shipwreck and see what that looks like on this white. Just the shipwreck with the. On wine. what? You're not drinking that water, so I'm taking it. Take it, do it. Pam just had a homemade chocolate chip cookie. That sounds delicious. Funny story. Well, not necessarily funny. I have a friend named Christy. She now works for me, which it makes my life awesome. Um, but she is so good. And so anytime she goes to the store, because we try to limit how many t trips we're making to the store if we can, she asks us if we need anything, me and my friend group. So I made, she made the mistake of asking me and I gave her a list of about eight things. Sure enough, she went to the store, maybe it was 10 things. She picked them up, she dropped them off at my house and then she came to work. I then mowed her for him. And then I forgot that she came to the house and it was two nights ago, was it two nights or last night? It was last night. And Zeb's like, oh, I wish we had some cookies. And I was like, wait a second, we do have cookies. If you didn't know, I've been eating sugar again. It's been yeah. great. It's like, <laughs> And we like, had oh, some man. cookies at 1030 at night because my dear friend Christy had went to the Sam's Club and bought us some cookies. Super chat from Lolly Lolly. Congrats Lolly. and thank you. Thank you, Lolly. Lolly. Lolly's here. She has one of those names you don't forget, you know? And she's here pretty much every Saturday and every Wednesday and every Thursday because we go live Wednesday at... 10 a.m. Mountain Time, and then Thursdays we go live at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. All right, from the first of the video, remember all the detail? Oh, yeah. I'm going in. I'm glad you remember that, because I would have been sad that we forgot that. Shipwrecked. Are you going to go straight shipwrecked? I'm going straight shipwrecked. Because it's already white. Well, what I might do is I might break some rules with it, because we've been breaking some wax I, rules lately. I break lately. all the rules. And I might do some copper patina here and there, some pennies from heaven over the shipwreck, what? and see what that does. Oh, that's that's my water. I guess I'm not drinking that anymore. It looks okay. No. No, no paint transfer. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> it's DIY. It's not right. necessarily food safe, but I don't care. Here we I, go. I've got I, the... I, uh, I don't think it's not food safe. It's just not... The government hasn't told us that it is. This is a JRV stencil brush. We love it for waxing these little things like this. And oh, yeah. In fact, I think we've been it's using funny. the stencil brushes more for waxing than stenciling lately. Well, Josie from Paint Pixie, she's the gal that makes it. And she started, I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius, Josie. And then ever since I've been starting with it, I love it because they get down in all the details in ways that the big ones just don't work. Like when we were doing that cement mold this week, oh yeah, that would have been impossible to do with a big fat brush, get down in there. You guys, if you missed the cement mold video, that video was so much fun to make because we had no idea how it was going to turn As out. As per usual, we did not know what we were and doing. And it broke all the pieces. If you haven't watched it, go watch how it ends up. It and was fun. we'll let you know this week if it actually shipped to Alabama in one piece because we shipped it to Zeb's mom for Mother's Day. If it actually makes it, this will be the first year Zeb sent a present before Mother's Day. Before. I always call her, all right? Hey, just getting to talk She's to never you. lived close. <laughs> just getting to talk to you is all the shit. Yeah, we've lived in Tucson. Well, I probably made her pancakes or something. Probably because. All right. Good. So this, just a That's quick not. wax on it. I'm gonna pull that back before it gets dry. Let me go grab a rag. I'll be right back. While you're up, would you grab me um, one of the? Gosh, one of the crockery stamp stamps okay, what? and we the need white to, ink. We need to look at some ink. regular con comments. Okay, most, they're most... talking about cookies. Any word on DI opening back up? Nope. You know what? DI is owned by the church that we belong to, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's a lot of words. We just call it the Church of Jesus Christ because it's short. But anyways, um, our church hasn't started going back to church yet, and I would venture to say that once they end home churching, then they might open back up thrift stores. What was it you wanted me to grab? Can't wait to see the finish then. Oh, Zeb. Do I paint the bottoms of my pieces? Sometimes. Do you want me to paint the bottom of this one? I can. Oh, can you get me the crockery stamp and the black ink and the white wax? Yep. Mama Bear Blue says she loves... Oh, we're going to do the last winner. Don't worry. You're going to have to stick around for that one. We will do it at the end. We'll do it at the very, gotta, very end. We're going to make you watch. <laughs> Carolyn Vasquez Lopez um, says pretty. Talk about your stencil special. The stencil special is finished. That ended Friday. All right, I'm painting the bottom. It, you know who's not watching is um, Les. Les. Les always wants me to paint the bottoms of things. So if Les is watching the replay... Les, I'm painting the bottom. Eliza just reorganized this, and I don't know where she put all the things. Uh, the stamps are in the in all together, so I just have to search for it. Eliza put all of our stamps on all the correct sheets and all the stencils. She's a little organizer. After I have her come organize, we got some new clothes. We won't put them on the website until Monday. 
Yes, Seb. Or yes, Tom. I already told Seb. Don't forget that Tom has Tom, been Tom, I've got your number. We, we got I was thinking number. about you anyway. I was like, you know what? I probably should just message him <laughs> and get this stuff. You weren't thinking about Tom? I was thinking about Tom. There's only so many thoughts you can keep in your head, so it means a lot that you were thinking about well, Tom. Well, the last time we were doing the, the molds. Over $1,000, right. Seb. In oh, super chat. Over a thousand in super That's chat. That's crazy. Oh, super chat from Wendy's workshop. Thank you. She says, I'm one of your retailers, but passing on the blessing to another. Congrats and thank you for your business inspiration. I have amazing retailers. They put up with the fact that I'm so crazy busy that I don't give them as much attention. Luckily, I have Mariah, who's amazing, and Bethany, who's my manufacturer, who takes care of everybody and gets their orders shipped out. Even though the post office is crazy town right now, Bethany's getting those orders out. And then Caitlin handles all the uh, tech stuff. So I got great peeps. How oh. many retailers do we have? Mariah, are you on? Do you know how many retailers we have? I thought we had 90 or something. I don't know. We're, we're real close to 90. We're real close to 90. I don't really promote it being a retailer very often, and I probably should. It's on the list of things to do. When the farmhouse is over, I'm going to try to get more retailers. I forgot to grab you paint, but it took me so long, I wanted to pop oh, in and get my fine. thing. I'm going to use ink. I'm going to just, this is a dry rag. I'm just going to pull this back before the wax is set up. If you let it sit overnight, you won't be able to get as much off, which if you want to use it to protect, that's what you do. You let it sit overnight and then you buff. But I want this just to use this to uh, color it. Oh, I have to give you a super chat to acknowledge me. Les, I just talked about you for zero dollars. <laughs> Les is saucy. Um, let me finish painting this side. I was just saying that I painted the bottom of this box for you. I didn't know you were there. There's like a thousand people on here scrolling by. But I'm glad you're here, Les. Les has been watching. Where are you pointing that heat gun and for what reason? Oh, I just moved it. I moved it because I was... She's I, just like pointing no. it at the wall. So I painted it and then I needed to second coat it. So I just moved it while I second coated it. All right. Okay, pulled some of that back. If I wanted to take even Jessica more off... Jessica says sassy. Les, Les has been around for a while, so she can get sassy with me. Les has been watching us a long, long time. We're friends. She's been hanging in there, suffering oh, through your mom's all the on videos. Here. Mom, did oh, you know that, hey, that we mailed your present? I packed it myself. Yeah, she said thank you earlier. She watched okay. the video last night. So if I wanted to pull even more off, I would hit this with some clear wax now and rub that off right away. And that would give me a lot of control on this shipwrecked colored wax. Oh, that's pretty, Zeb. I think it's going to be good. That was a comment somebody said. Oh. But I also agree. Super chat from Yumiko DeBold. Okay. Do oh, you, thank you for letting me know. you need bye? Yeah. I gotta get ink. Did you get white wax, sweetie? I don't have white wax. I only found you your crockery stamps. Okay. That's right. That's it took right. a minute to find them. Eliza, it was the last place I looked. She had them in the top container. I actually don't think we have a white wax here, but I thought Check I said, the table. That's where all the waxes were earlier. Clear wax. Well, I also have Paris put some stuff up so we should be ready because I knew we are going to be... Oh, there it is. Mary just bought Farm Fresh and Apothecary. Can't decide which to use first. They're both gray. It's hard to... It's hard to decide. Farm Fresh is more blue. Apothecary is more green. And I feel like Apothecary is really great in the spring and Farm Fresh is good. I mean, they're both good year-round, but when you start going into the fall, it's like my fall one. Odelia is on top of it. What's she doing? I don't know. Oh, Odelia, this should count for reading for school. Here, our schools have said that no matter what, you get a pass. So we're just making our kids do what they need to do, but we're not freaking out about school because my kids are learning. Odelia is learning how to set up a website, which she helped me input stuff last night. She's learning how to build a house. Our kids are learning how to paint, market, uh, buy new products, wholesale. Jack, what? The, he was doing something the other day. And he was like, They've been helping Jack. us out of boredom. Yeah. And Jack, man, Jack's a little entrepreneur. He's like, hey, how much do I get for this chore? How much do I get for if I do this? And he, we're, like, we're like, go play, go play, go, go climb a tree or something. He's like, no, I want to do a job. Can I do a job? <laughs> oh, you know what this needs? It's a stripe. I'll be back. 
is good. And they help so much. And they do a lot without asking for anything. So um, Yeah, they're they're great. They've they're ready to be uh out in the uh the warm weather. They were all out at the farmhouse hanging out and playing while we got that wall built today. Jack, so we don't have trees in our current house and we have three apple trees at the farmhouse and it's like a whole new world for Jack. He is in those trees, him and Redrick are climbing them. They got a little perch up in one with some with a some scrap board. Jack built the perch himself. It's like actually, a makeshift tree house with a situation. And a nail. He like he's like, Mom, I made a bench, and sure enough, he made a bench. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're good. I was done. Oh, you were done. Oh good. <laughs> see, I knew you were gonna be done. Okay, alright, let's see. I need Oh, I forgot white paint. Shoot. I'll go grab you some. Here, wipe this up for me. Alright. Oh, no, that looks good. You don't need that. That looks oh, I'm, amazing. I'm wiping, well, I'm wiping the excess back so it matches the top. Oh, okay. I'm just going to hold this stencil here. I guess I could let the stencil go, but I just lined it up perfectly. Jack is so cute. Dina Harris! Look, I said Dina right. It's Dina like Tina. Thank you for the super chat. Do you have brushes and everything you need? Yep. Are the chickens in the coop? Nope. They when I order them, they um, breed them like to order, so they're they're hatching them for me. So we have to wait. End end of May is when the chickens will come in. Don't you worry. We will be sure to show you those cute babies. How much will the box be? Um, I think I said somewhere around twenty dollars for that box. We'll put it in Zeb's corner. Well, it probably won't make it to Zeb's corner. That's the thing. People are like, you need more in Zeb's corner. I'm like, I would, but everybody Just... buys it for. <laughs> They email the sh they email Lehigh Shop at jamierayvintage.com and they buy it before I get it there. Let's see. All right, that's lined up. I'm just using the grain sack. I need. I wish I had a bigger stencil brush, but I don't know where they're at. Okay, I'm gonna come give you guys a close up. I'm not gonna paint. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do the inside of this lip, but I'm not gonna paint or uh, wax the inside because I don't know what the end user is going to put in there, and I don't necessarily want the pigment from the wax to transfer at any point onto whatever's put in there. So I'll leave that unpainted on the inside. We'll have to or un the last to buy the box. Are we, are we not? Well, we'll wait until Jamie's done stenciling and then yeah, we'll I'll do the about, last, mm, we'll do the last giveaway. I got a stencil and I got a stamp. I'm just doing a grain sack stripes stencil. This is a JRB stencil. All right guys, look how cool this turned out. Look at how that wax is just sitting down in low spots and it tinted that paint. Are you going to do the pennies from heaven? Or are you going to leave it? Uh, you know what I would do, Zeb? Take like an artist brush. I want to do it maybe around like the top of this detail here. I think I brushed yeah. enough back that the wax won't resist it. Yeah, do the, do the, um, like just as an accent. Super okay. chat from Sue Para. Ooh. I love your generosity. Sue, I love your generosity. $100 super chat. You guys are showing up tonight. All right, the problem with these stencils is you got to hold them down. Shoot, I moved it. I shifted. I shifted, Zeb. No. No, no shift. It's, it's hard. I'm full of shift. All right, let me hold this here. We have any pennies so, from heaven left? We've been using what? it a lot. Oh yeah, it's over there somewhere. I can find it for you in a minute. Let me just finish. I found like three golden tickets that are open. That's because we had a, they blew up in transit. And anytime stuff gets damaged and we can't ship it, we just put it on the supply situation. Patina is hard to ship. We've started boxing them separately in a box in a box so that way they arrive alive. All right, that's like the worst green sack stripe ever, but that's okay, I'll just dress it. Let me do the super chat. What stencil am I using? Oh, super chat from Leslie Johnson. I'm using the grain sack stencil. It comes with a set of three different grain sack stripes and then you don't have to tape them off. You do have to hold it still. So would you bring me some sandpaper? Yep, and I found it. It was on another table. Yeah. I'm terrible at stencils. It's okay, you don't have to be awesome. Eliza's meticulous at it. Odelia did this stencil the other day and she stencils just like me. And she's like, Mom, it's ruined. And I'm like, oh, just give me some sandpaper. And then when I was done, she's like, it looks so awesome. Okay. Pennies from heaven. It's a sealer and a color, copper colored patina all in one. All right. 
Alright, we'll show that's a lot of emojis. Noelle is happy. I'm stenciling a tote that used to have a pear on it. So I am getting a little bit of resist on here. But I think that's going to work to my advantage. I'm just going to fan this. So that way you can't tell how not great I am at stenciling. There we go. Boom, baby. Done. Look at that. You don't have to be great. Just have to know how to use 220. Okay, so I'm going to use... So do I want to do this Dijon? Grand Poupon? Or... Do I want to do marmalade? I don't know if marmalade's gonna fit. Oh, I like the marmalade. That's a, that's good. Okay. Do we have more comments? I don't know. I've started. Lots of cooking. comments. Everybody's everybody's trying to get in there tonight. Yeah, but we'll look mad. We have a, more. Most people I see are saying. Uh, so much better than the pears, right? I did this not too long ago with a very deep. It's this is not sticking. <laughs> Why are you putting it on there? Just go freestyle. Well, it's sticking now. Don't worry. It just I needed will. a little uh, moisture. I only like the back side of this, so whoever buys this won't get my DNA. Or my germs. That's not COVID etiquette. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm going to show you guys this up oh, close in just down. a second here. Good thing I caught that. Oh, it's not sticking. Oh, well, that was pointless. Okay. When your stamp stamps get dirty on the back, they don't stick. It's probably got some dust from this table. It's probably got some dust from my life. Yeah, maybe. Jamie, the tote looks way better. Thank you. 220, that's how I roll. Yep. So we use the 220. Did I just lick the stamp? I did. Sorry. But only the back. <laughs> so. We use the 220 because you can distress really quickly without getting squiggles. It's like a finer sandpaper. And it doesn't, uh, it's not like, like 80 grit will take all your paint off right now. And 220 grit, you gotta work. The COVID at it. police are coming, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, I've never been a germaphobe in my life, and so it's not without great effort. But I've been so good, you guys. I have sanitizer in my car, and today I sanitized my cart before I got to it. And because I wasn't sure if somebody would sanitize it before they got to it, I sanitized it after I left. I have a little spray sanitizer, so. Not just for me, but there's a little marmalade stamp. Is that so cute? So I'll probably do a matching situation on the back. Let me uh, dry this real quick. I won't distress the stamp only because it didn't get perfect coverage, but already looks distressed. And I, I've done this combo. This is always a good combo. The grain sack stripe with either um, the these stamps that are the crockery stamps from IOD or the mini set of grain sack stencils from JRB always look good over the top of the grain sack stripe. It's always a win. All right, I brought this because I want to paint on a little bit of white wax. I'm going to have to finish this and I'll second coat the rest of this. Super chat from Leslie, thank you. I will second coat the rest of this where it's streaky and then I'll finish that other side next week. Okay, so I've got it on here. I'm going to pull a little bit back i think all right i'm just gonna this is still dry oh that dried out pretty good i was hoping to have more resist oh that's okay because we just sand it I promise that's not my answer to everything right, yes where's... it is is this dry yep i need this side of it okay just use the corner or you're gonna get some shipwrecked oh that's fine It'll just be texture good. and goodness. All right, there we go. We got a little distress and age. I'll go ahead and paint the rest of this and finish it up. This will sell for about twelve ninety five on the website. So, and I think originally the tote was like a dollar fifty. So the next time you see a dated tote, don't think that it can't be awesome. It just needs some paint. All right, let me white wax these. Do you need sandpaper? No, I'm oh, just... super chat from Liam Lima. Way to go with five years. Ask for a promotion. <laughs> I need, I feel like I need to get demoted. <laughs> yeah, we already have enough promotions. We, like, we were actually talking today, like, in five more years, we'd like to have a lot of really great employees that we could pay a lot of money to so we can just hang out more. All right, I think that's, 
I think that's where we're going to leave it. Alright, I'll be. I got it back down to some of the white where I put the, uh, the thing. Have it. Um, Leslie Johnson. Okay, now I caught that. You can't add it to your order, but this week if you email customercare at janierayvintage.com, she will help you get money over to us. She probably actually could add it to your order, but that might be complicated. But she can give you our Venmo or our PayPal. We'll help you figure it out. Yes, Seb, and the tote is amazing, Jamie. Thank you. All That's right. That's awesome. All right. I'm just okay, we finish. have one more giveaway to do. Yep, you do that, and I will... Uh... We've been on for almost 80 minutes. Uh, oh, my goodness. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> Put a fork in me. I'm done. Can we make popcorn and watch Star Trek? We sure can. That sounds awesome. I'm just white waxing these. All right. Hopefully Jamie's phone doesn't die. It is at 6%. Okay. I'm scrolling. Oh, I'm getting white wax all over my new shirt. Hopefully whoever okay. wins is still watching. Well, if you pick a, chat or a recent comment, I would think that yes, they would be. Elizabeth Mims. Woohoo! Elizabeth Mims, you have won. $25 gift card to jamierayvintage.com or jamierayvintagehome.com. And you need to email Caitlin at customercare at jamierayvintage.com to redeem that. She'll get you set up. And I am going to just wipe And thank you, thank you guys wife. so, so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the generosity and the super chats. That is going to make a big difference to our retailers that are small businesses in need. And voila, I have white waxed this. Also, thank you guys for following us. Five years ago, we had no idea what was going on. And then three years ago, we decided to do two, um, we decided to go to five super chat or five videos a week. And we said we were going to buy, no, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. we three, went year, to, three years ago in August. Three years ago in August, we said we were going to go to five videos a week because we were going to make this YouTube thing work. And we wanted to do a farmhouse or a renovation of some point. It took us two years to be able to qualify to buy our fixer upper and it's going to take about a year longer to, to get it all finished. But none of that would be possible without you guys, the hustle and the crazy that we've been doing on our end and the purchasing that you guys do on your end at Jamie Ray Vintage and Jamie Ray Vintage Home have little by little allowed us to pay cash for all of our renovations that we've done thus far. And I just, just want to say thank you. Everything you do allows us to do everything we do. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for celebrating with us. And if you've been a winner tonight, email customercare at jamierayvintage.com. Um, also, thank you for the super chat. I'm a llama mama. Thank you. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Oh, I can't reach. Woo! Oh. It's okay. We're going out with a bang. It didn't actually fall. I just kicked it a little. <laughs>